gram South of London Where niggas grip the gun That's where I come from I'll give you some sun To dance for me Girl And that's one so bad for me Yeah in this video, I'll be showing you step by step on how I built this 3000 watt e-bike. Okay, for starters, I did trade a 2k watt for this 3k watt and it came on a Norco Storm frame and the dropouts on it were absolutely fried. Just look at that. I don't even know how someone accomplishes that. It came with a 3000 watt from Aussie e-bikes. The thing was missing 12 spokes, well, so I will be showing you how to repair that in this video as well. I did also get a new frame, it's a Jarmus frame, pretty good mid frame, but I did sand it down as I am painting it in this video. It came with a 60 amp square wave controller. And lastly, the kit came with a 72 volt 26 amp hour battery with an XT90 discharge connector. Like I mentioned before, I am spray painting this bike, and this was my choice of spray paints. For starters, I am really sorry because I got barely any painting clips. I don't know why, but here's the first coat of primer, obviously that light misting to get the adhesion to the frame. Second coat was still light, but a little bit heavier. Third coat was just a full coverage, and I did move into the garage as it was getting too hot. Once again, the first coat of paint was a really light mist layer. Second coat was a little bit heavier, and once again, I am really sorry, I forgot to film the rest of it, but here was the finished product after the three coats of paint and the two coats of the clear coat. Really gave it that good, nice shine. Okay, moving on to the build, here I am installing the forks and the fork spaces. I am now installing the stem and handlebars. Okay, now I'm installing the battery and it's probably the most simple part of the build. All it is is just do up these Velcro straps as tight as you can. I'm also doing the hub motor installation last on this build as I was still waiting for the spokes, but usually you would do the hub motor installation first. Here, I'm installing the pegs. It is pretty simple. It is just basically a nut and a bolt obviously the bolt through there but I did not have any washers or spaces for this build so I ended up just chucking an old bottom bracket as you can see in there. I also do install washers inside the pegs for anyone asking. For this build I am also bolting on my controller and here are the rivet nuts that I used. Here is how to install the rivet nut onto the tool. Now I did not get any clips of me drilling the holes but it is super simple. All you want to do is hold your controller over where you want to bolt it, mark it with a permanent marker, come in with a 3mm drill bit and work your way up to a 9mm drill bit as the rivet nuts were 9mm. Here I am crimping the rivet nuts. It was a bit of a struggle but I got there in the end. Here I am installing the bolts onto the controller.
Now I'm just fastening the bolts up with an Allen key. The following day, the spokes finally arrived. Here I am installing some 222 Loctite on the spoke threads to ensure that they will not come loose when riding. Here I am installing one of the spokes. When putting the nipple on the spoke, I like to put the nipple on another spoke, then feed it through and thread it onto the spoke. Once the nipple is on, I either like to hand tighten it or come in with a flat head just to get it on there. Obviously not tightening it yet. Here I am coming in with a flat head just to get the spoke on, but I didn't get any other clips of the spokes, but just for explanation, I came in with a spoke tensioner, spoke tightener, and then turned every spoke quarter of a turn until the rim was straight and kept turning it quarter of a turn until all spokes were firm. Once I got all that out of the way, I focused on getting the wheel onto the rim. Firstly, I like to get half the side of the tire on first and then install the tube and then obviously install the rest of the tire. Now I'm installing the tube into the wheel. Now I'm installing the rest of the tire onto the rim. I am now installing the wheel onto the frame. I have one washer on each side as it ensures to make sure that there's no gaps between the frame and the axle. I then come in with a mallet to tap it in to make sure that it's in the frame. 
please make sure that you do use a mallet because if you use a regular hammer you'll just end up destroying your threads on the axle. Here is the fitment in the dropout. This side I did get a little bit more in, but this side is pretty snug, but I also did get that side in a little bit more. Here I am using the power drill to get the disc rotor off the old rim. Here I am sanding a little bit of rust off the disc rotor. When you're installing your disc brake on your e-bike motor, can you please install Loctite? It would help you a lot in the future. This is how to install your disc rotor on your e-bike hub motor. When tightening your bolts for the disc rotor, ensure that you do it in a star pattern to make sure that the disc rotor comes out evenly. Now moving on to torque arms. I'm bolting mine into the frame and threading it and putting a bolt through there, but this is how you can do it usually. This is how my torque arms turned out. And this was the tool that we used to thread it with. Now I'm doing the wiring. It is pretty simple. Here I'm just connecting the phase connectors in the yellow box. Obviously blue to blue, yellow to yellow, and green to green. Make sure that they are done up super tight so then the wires will not burn or come loose when riding. Here I am installing the motor plug, it is very simple, it only goes into one connector. Now I am tightening the phase connectors with a spanner making sure that they are really tight. Now all I'm doing is just installing the battery plug. Also, it only goes into one connector. Here is the connector for the throttle. And here is the connector for the display. Now installing display is simply just hook around these little hooks and tighten them bolts. And now for the throttle, all you need to do is slip it on just like that and go underneath it and tighten them bolts in there. Well, there is only one bolt. Now, I didn't record myself doing the brakes, but that's probably one of the most easiest parts as well. And I did put all the wires in a control bag, and this is how it turned out. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and goodbye.